Hello everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Today I want to talk to you about another security tool that I highly advise keeping in your arsenal just in case you should ever run into an infection or should you already have one, this is definitely the program to look into getting. It's called RKill from bleepingcomputer.com. The site itself is a wonderful place to go to get information and help if you're trying to remove an infection from your computer. This is not a sponsored post. The company has not contacted me about doing this. This is a software that I actually use often when I'm working on people's computers or even use it on mine just to make sure everything's okay. So what is RKill? It's not a scanner. It's not designed to go through and doing a full scan of your system. What it's designed to do is just to terminate the known malware processes on your computer so that you can actually use other software to try and clean it up. It's not a scanner, it doesn't actually remove anything, but I want to show you exactly how it works here. Oftentimes, if you get a virus on your computer, what it does is it downloads a malicious file and puts it on your system and causes a lot of corruption within the Windows file, sometimes your internet connection, and oftentimes malware is specifically designed to be able to keep your security software, your antiviruses, and your other scanners from being able to start at all. So what Arkill does is attempt to search your system for the running processes and registry files and changes to the system that would be able to keep you from accessing the internet and keep you from running your scanning programs and terminate them so that you can use your computer like normal to run scans and try and get rid of the infection. Now real quick before I show you guys how to use the software, there's something important that I need to mention because it could actually benefit you down the road if you're working with a system that is infected. Since Arkill is designed to terminate known malicious software from running on your computer, a lot of malware and viruses will try to prevent you from running it by popping up and telling you that it's run into an error, there's a security warning that the program itself is infected, all of which are absolutely untrue and it's just to try and trick you from being able to use it. Now I'm linking the software download page at bleepingcomputer.com of course in the video description down below and when you're looking at the download links you'll see that there's seven or eight different links all of them named different things like rkill.com, rkill.exe, .scr. You'll see some of them that are named similar to known Windows file names like explore.exe, iexplore.exe for Internet Explorer. And that's because malicious software just like with malicious, uh, with malware bytes and super anti spyware, these infections on your computer are trying to keep you from running a software designed to get rid of it. And so it'll tell you that it's a fake program or it won't work right or whatever, and it'll try and keep you from running it. So if you run into that problem, you can try one of these different downloads that has it named as a different file and try and trick the malicious software into letting it run so that you can actually terminate it. And also a quick word of advice, there are three antiviruses, Komodo, Kaspersky, and Trend Micro, that oftentimes will bring this up as a false positive when you try to run it. It'll list it as unclassified malware or a backdoor a Trojan gen. So if you're running into any of those three antiviruses on your systems, just know that you could see this pop up on your system. It's completely okay to allow it to run. This is a a safe piece of software. Bleeping Computer has been in contact with all three antivirus vendors to let them know that it's flagging incorrectly and hopefully by the time you're seeing this video it's no longer a problem. But I wanted to make sure you guys knew all of this going into it just in case you try and download and run this program and you see it and you're not quite sure what to do next. So from wherever you download it, you just launch the program like you would anything else. Let it run if it asks you to. Now it's going to bring up this window that kind of looks confusing for some people because it's the command prompt, but it's okay. Let it run and scan. It won't take very long. It'll pop up tell you it's done. And then it'll go through and bring up your little notepad to let you know any and all things that were found, if anything was changed. Breaks it down by section so you know exactly what was finished on your system. Also something important to keep in mind is that after you've run Arkill and it's gone through and it's bringing up the changelog, make sure not to reboot your system because once again the software doesn't actually remove anything since it's not a scanner. All it does is terminate the processes so that you can use your antivirus software and malware bytes and super anti spyware or whatever you're actually using to clean your system. And if you reboot, all that stuff it terminated will start right back up again and you'll have to rerun the program. So now that it's all terminated, everything's good to go, now you can run your heavy duty scanners and try and clean your system up, and hopefully after that your computer will be back to normal again. So that wraps up this video, hopefully you found it useful and beneficial, of course if you have any questions do drop them in the comments section below and I'll answer them as quickly and as pleasantly as I possibly can. If you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button down there and let everybody know about it, and of course share it out as many places as you can to help as many people as possible. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a good day and I will talk to you later.